My name is Ruth Onziel. I am professor at the Technical University of Eindhoven. I'm a historian, actually an historian of uh, technology, American and European technology. I'm a research fellow at the Rachel Carson Center, uh, where my research topic is a century of cycling, a uh, path towards sustainability. From a technical point of view, the bicycle is finished. From a sustainability point of view, the question becomes, you know, why is it that a technology that is perfect, that has been with us for 100 years, has gone out of use in some periods, in some countries, and come into use in other countries and in some context. And bicycles in the 1890s was a, one of the first uh, global goods. Uh, so it was mass produced and it had an enormous quick acceptance among the middle class and upper middle class. And then the working class could afford it because the price dropped. So that seems like a global story, but then something happens around the 1950s and 60s. You see in many countries that uh, uh, rural population is, a, uh, is able to cycle, and, and then we have different paths uh, of cycling, and then there's a kind of a recurrence in the 1970s where it becomes part of the uh, green movement, environmental movement, and the bicycle is embraced as the more sustainable vehicle. And that seems to be uh, where the story diverges in, in many different countries. So China embraces it because they don't have a lot of steel, they don't have a lot of resources, and the party decides that bicycles are good for the country. That happens in the 70s, um, but not because of uh, the environmental movement. In Europe, the United States, it's part of the environmental movement. It has a di very different meaning. Uh, in Africa, in Asia, it is part of uh, rural people's uh, way of getting around and uh, in cities. So the story today is more diverse than it is similar. And yet we look uh, at each other to learn from each other from best practices of how to move to a more sustainable future. And that is sort of the story of the bike share movement. Uh, that is important and imported from other places. And yet the local cultures are very different. And that's what we need to understand. How do we get there? And how do we move from there? It turns out that a technology is never in and of itself powerful, but it's also very much the story around it. And so that is what I bring as a historian, as a humanities scholars to the discussion about um, sustainability uh, technology, um, that we really need to understand cultural representations, cultural ideas about our technologies. Because otherwise, if we don't, we cannot move forward to a more sustainable future.